Hey everybody, today we're going to be tackling one of the most asked Bible questions from kids or adults. Of all the mysteries in the universe, this seems to be the thing that almost everybody is just dying to know. Can you guess what it is? Oh, hey. Welcome back everybody to our Q&R series where we've been taking your family's questions about God, the Bible, the world that we live in, anything, everything, and we're doing our best to respond. So once you hear today's questions, you're going to have a chance to pause and discuss as a group at home first, then come back and you can hear what I have to say at the end, we'll all grow together. So without further ado, here is the question that everybody is dying to know. Will our pets go to heaven? Will our pets go to heaven? Now, before you pause and discuss that, that's actually a really complicated question. And so what we're going to do is try to break it into a few smaller questions, and that way we can get a better understanding of where we're going. So the first question is going to be, what is heaven? If we're asking, do our pets go to heaven? What is heaven? Take time now to pause, share, and discuss. Let the kids share first, and then the grown-ups. Go for it. Right now we're going to do the short version of what is heaven because that's a big topic in itself. We could do a whole episode just on that. So the short version is heaven is a place where God is, a spiritual dimension. And when I say place, I don't mean a place that I can point to on a map or a place that you could drive to in a car or even fly to in an airplane or a spaceship. It's not like that. But actually when... Followers of Jesus are talking about heaven and eternity, eternal life. Oftentimes what we're really referring to is something in the Bible that's called new creation or the new heaven, the new earth, because the Bible teaches us that one day God is going to rid the world of evil once and for all and recreate all of heaven and earth. But since we're talking about pets today, that does give me a great idea for a game. Game time! Okay, I'm calling this one Your New Pet. You're going to have a chance right now to figure out what or who your new pet is going to be. And I'm going to give you a few options, but you're not going to get to pick from them. They're going to be based off things like your name and your age and how many teeth you've lost. So keep up with me. And then after I describe it, you'll pause, create your new pet, and then come back and we'll get the whole thing all together. So here's how it'll work. First, you're either going to have a tiger, a bat, a monkey, or a walrus. A tiger, monkey, bat, walrus. Those are the options, but you're not going to get to choose. It's going to be based off the first letter of your name. So my name is Rhett, so the first letter of my name is R, and so that puts me in the bat category. That's just an example, okay? So first you're going to find out what type of animal you have. Then you're going to figure out what is your animal's habitat, or where is it going to spend most of its time? Where is it going to, where is it going to live? Will that be a fishbowl, a fanny pack, which is like a little pack you wear on your waist, under your bed, or your closet? Those are your options. Fishbowl, fanny pack, closet, under your bed, and that will be based off how old you are. So you'll see how old you are, and that will tell you which habitat your pet is going to live in. Next. Your pet has a special talent, and to figure out what that special talent it is, what that special talent is, we're gonna see. Is it doing your homework? That'd be a nice one. Is it mowing the lawn? That's convenient. Uh, reading you bedtime stories? Oh man, I wish my dog could do that. Uh, or playing checkers. So, is your pet going to do your math homework, mow the lawn, read you bedtime stories, or play checkers? You're gonna find out by figuring out what month you were born in, and that will tell you which special talent your pet is going to have, okay? And then the next one is going to be the name. Everybody wants to name their pet. You don't get to pick the name, but the name options are Fido, Princess Sparkles, Leonard, or Rhett Jr., okay? So will your pet be named Fido, Princess Sparkles, Leonard, or Rhett Jr.? 
you're going to find that out based off how many teeth you've lost. Okay, so once you figure out each of those things, you'll be able to put it all together in a package and come back with your new pet. Pause and go for it. Okay, I figured out that if it were me, I would have a bat who lives under my bed, ooh, creepy, uh, and can play checkers, that's kind of cool, named Rhett Jr. My little bat, Rhett Jr. That's awesome. Uh, bonus points to you guys if you draw a picture of your new pet in their habitat, and double bonus points if you post that picture to our Facebook group so we can all see it and share it together. Okay, so we talked a little bit about heaven or new creation, the new heaven, new earth. Now let's talk about animals. So our second question in breaking down the bigger question is going to be, will there be animals in the new creation? So when we talk about the new heaven, the new earth, where we'll be for eternity, will there be animals there? What do you guys think? Pause now and share. Remember that in the beginning, when God was creating everything, creating the whole universe, he spent time creating all of the amazing animals, all of the creatures that we see. And when God was creating, he looked at his creation and he said it was good. So when we think about the new creation, I definitely think there are going to be animals there. And if we look at Isaiah, the book of Isaiah in chapter 11, verse 6, it actually give us, gives us a sneak peek into a little bit about what that new creation will be like. And it says this, In that day the wolf and the lamb, those are animals, right? They will live together. The leopard will lie down with the baby goat. The calf and the yearling will be safe with the lion. And a little child will lead them all. It seems like animals and people will both exist in the new creation and, even better, they'll live at peace together. Okay, let's get to the last piece of our question for today. Will my pet be in the new creation? I think really that's at the core of the bigger question that we asked today, do our pets go to heaven, is when I go to eternity, when I'm there forever with God, will my pet be there? I want you guys to take a moment to discuss, but I know for a lot of you, this might be a really tough subject, especially if you've lost a pet that you loved, or maybe you have a pet right now and you're afraid of losing them. So take a moment as you're discussing to pray for anybody who might be sad right now about their pet, and then come back. This is my dog, Doc. He was a pug who was very fat, and he was my childhood pet from the time I was a little kid all the way through high school. Doc was a good dog. He didn't chew up my stuff or bite anybody. He loved to lay down in the warm sun and just soak in the rays. And he even did handstands when he peed, which I thought was hilarious. I miss Doc. Will I get to see Doc? in the new creation. And we already said, yes, there will be animals as part of the new creation, the new heavens, the new earth. What about our pets? Well, will some of those animals that are in the new creation be our pets? I don't know, maybe. But here's something that I do know about the new creation. We're told in the book of Revelation in chapter 21 that God is going to wipe away every tear, that there won't be any more death or sorrow, no more crying or pain. All of that will be gone forever in the new creation. And so what does this tell us? Well, if we're sad about being without our pets now, when we get to be a part of that new creation, I think there are a couple options. Either one, God will make it so that our pets are there too. And so we'll get to enjoy that. Or 
God will give us the healing and the comfort that we need in the new creation so that we don't miss our pets and feel that sadness anymore. Either way, I know that whatever it is, it'll be good and God knows what is best for us and we can trust him. That's it for this week, guys. Thanks for working through that tough question with me today. Keep sending in your questions. I'd love to hear them and be able to respond to them. You can send them through our Facebook or to my email. Look forward to seeing you next time. God bless you.